Wow. We have such a cute little spot tucked Ooh. in the trees. Super tucked. Hey guys, Dirty Avocado here. And Jarhead. And today we're gonna show you a tour of our home. So since the Hey Duke, we have been basically living out of this car. We have a very minimal setup. It helps us to pretty much camp in a very like vast amount of places and beautiful places. We just wanted to show you like the kind of minimal setup that we have that like you don't need anything crazy to go on the road. Let's open it up. <laughs> it's pretty simple. It's a plywood frame with some two by fours. The seats were taken out before this, which makes it a lot easier to get a lot more stuff in. Taking out the seats makes it so that there is a lot more room underneath for all our storage. For one person, the back of the car is huge. It's a palace. And for two people, you can fit really comfortably back here. As far as storage goes, we didn't need a lot. We have two pretty long cubbies here, his and hers. And I really like this because it's so long. It just goes deep in there. These are just cheap plastic things. As you can see, they're broken, but they get the job done. There's a bit of a puzzle inside with the other bins we have. We have a gear bin, we have a kitchen utensil bin, and one for the stove. And they all kind of fit together in this Tetris block. Once you have the big bins in there, the good thing about this car is that it has a lot of nooks and crannies of free space. A little bit of room here for this table. We have our waters here behind my chair. And then in the center console, we keep all our electronics in this little bag. As far as our power supply goes, we have a bunch of these rechargeable battery banks that charge our phones, headlamps. But as far as our laptop, which requires an AC outlet, we have to go to libraries or coffee shops. Living out of your car requires you to be self-sufficient. And you should plan for if something goes wrong, like you have a dead battery. So having jumper cables is really nice if you're around other people, they can give you a jump. Or even more self-sufficient, you can have a battery pack with jumper cables if you're really far out in the forest and no one is around, so you can give yourself a little boost. You want to make dinner and I'll set up the car? Yeah, sure. So what we've been doing a lot um, this summer is actually leaving like one or two windows open each night. We use this, which is honestly one of my favorite things about car living. It goes over the window like that to keep the bugs out. So I like this kitchen setup because it's really minimal, but you can cook a four course meal on it. My favorite thing about the car is my spice box. So just any like old box and I got a bunch of spices in it. It's a little chilly tonight, so we're gonna make some ramen to warm us up. Got some carrots, mushrooms, all the good stuff. Hopefully that'll warm our insides. To keep it minimal, we don't have a lid for this pot, so we just use this metal mixing bowl. I fell off a mountain today. <laughs> <laughs> Busted up her knee. Busted it open. Immediately hit knee, shin, arms out, head down, got hit in the head with my helmet. And my shin too, that's all right. We usually sleep in our car till November and then we can't anymore. So the month of October can be sometimes really cold. So there's a couple tips to keep you warm in that shoulder season. The Reflectix really help the car is probably seven to 10 degrees warmer with the Reflectix in. Honestly, I would say more. And uh, another big thing is how you dress when you go to sleep. So instead of having like a million blankets in the back of the car, like in an already pretty limited space, we like to have our favorite puffies around. Stia sent us these puffies and they've been really great. 
they're really warm for their weight. They've been so warm that I've had them like zip down most of the yeah. way. Steel makes a lot of cool gear, hiking, fishing, biking, skiing. I'm really excited to actually try out some of their ski stuff. Thanks Steel for hooking it up and actually sponsoring this video. We really appreciate it. If you guys wanna check out some of the stuff and buy something for yourself, you can actually use our code, which we'll link in the description. I'm actually sweating. I'm so hot. <laughs> yeah, these things really work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Welcome to our dining room, the front seat of the car. It's it super cozy. Mm -hmm. And we could be at a trailhead. I think that's my most favorite thing about living in the car is mm -hmm. that you can drive to a trailhead the night before. You can sleep there and you're already there. It's probably the best car feeling there is. You kind of feel like you're in the woods, in nature, like connected to everything around. Mm -hmm. Even though you're surrounded by this yeah. solid frame. We're so used to sleeping in a tent for months at a time that a car feels like a big upgrade. I mean, we have an actual bed. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. It's so great with pillows. Look at this. Yeah. So, enough about the car. <laughs> enough about the car. <laughs> Update time. There'll be three more episodes to the Hayduk. They will start where it left off and go through Bryce Canyon all the way to the Grand Canyon, which is our big grand finale to the Hayduk. We've got a lot of dehydration happening. Yep. <laughs> We've got almost chest high river crossings. Um, chest well, high. I mean, for me, <laughs> not for you. Just be prepared for a lot of suck <laughs> but no i love the grand canyon oh and boat magic boat magic yeah mm -hmm. we get a ride on a boat yeah. well i don't want to spoil it but we totally ride on a boat and it's our favorite <laughs> part of the whole canyon it made my hike it's all rod's fault he's a bad influence how many beers do you drink three you drank three beers on the boat you're yeah. you're kidding me i'm not kidding you you're... that's why i had to pee so bad you're... after the three episodes of the hey duke there'll be even more videos because we just spent the past month in the Sierra Nevada in California. Mm -hmm. My favorite place in the world. Lots of backpacking, lots of hiking. Lots of high routes. Yes. And we had a big plan for the Sierra and it did not go as planned. Those videos will kind of be about us adjusting to the unexpected mm -hmm. and making a really great summer in the Sierra out of our time there. And we've also been able to hit some Colorado 14ers since we've been back. Jarhead and I have both been trying to finish our Colorado 14ers the past couple years. This summer, we were able to just do a couple. But today, we had a little incident on the mountain. The mountain didn't want us to summit today. So let's just say that. Not all hikes end at a summit. so Some hikes end with scars yeah. <laughs> yeah we're really excited to share the last three episodes of the hey duke so stay tuned <laughs> thanks again to steo the the link the thing with the code get yourself something nice get you some There he goes, leaving me behind. <laughs>